Good afternoon, fam. Here we are again, brothers and sisters. Here we are again, and we're just looking at... I'm going to do a bit of a, a change and go back to where I started in many respects. We're going to start looking at the signs of the end times. We have an amazing period of time we're in, in the last generation. We know it's coming, and it's coming soon, if not this year. You know, I'm not going to say a date. I'm not a datist. I don't, I don't see any point in that, to be honest with you. We'll know when he comes. But, you know, we've got Israel... Um, Sorry, Russia has moved into Golan Heights. This is this is this is not new now. It's it's a day or two old. <clears throat> They've moved in for a purpose to to protect. But we know, you know, this is this is Magog and Agog happening here. They're into the Golan Heights and they're moving in and they will move in, because the next sign we're looking for is complete destruction of Israel, complete destruction. That then you'll know you're in the tribulation. Hopefully, we'll not be brothers and sisters. We'll be gone. We'll be gone. And if you want to know what I mean by we'll be gone, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. You'll be gone also. But keep these things in your heart. Keep these things in your mind. Don't accept this thing and walk away from it. But we started, um, yesterday's video was about the commands Jesus give us. Now, the commands Jesus give us, we couldn't, I couldn't possibly live up to them. That's not how salvation works. We're saved anyway. The only thing I can assume is that if we did get perfect at them, which I can't, then it would make our Christian walk more effective because in these times, it is so close, brothers and sisters, and I will get on to how close it is in, in future videos. Keep, keep an eye open. We're going back to news and signs. Um, but if we, we need to be effective as we can in in this time not choked with the world and jesus when he when he with the commands of jesus are really telling us not to be ch choked with the world to do things that are not of worldly thinking and logic but i finished off with love your enemies in, in the last video and the next one is be perfect you know be perfect if you love them which love you what reward have ye? do not even the publicans do the same and if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Okay. Do not even the publicans so. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your fa your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Matthew five forty six to forty eight. That's quite a big statement. Check these out and live them. What I'm trying to get people to do is encourage you to look at them. <clears throat> and not look for other things that are, are totally irrelevant. Look at the relevant things in the Word. Look at the things we're going to be doing. I had an amazing time, uh, and I'm having an amazing time on Discord now, because we're doing the work. We're doing the work. People are coming in wanting to know Jesus, and wanting to know and find out. People with problems are coming in, um, and all sorts of people are coming in. And I, I, I'm absolutely amazed how people were counselling them last night. It's it, it fantastic. And just thank you, people. You know who you are. Practice secret disciplines. Next one. When thou dost thine alms, when they give, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret. Okay? And thy father, this is what's telling is not to be boastful or bragging, we've got money and we can give it away, and the, the things we do, not praying out loud, clanging bells, you know. Um, pray out loud by all means, but sincerely, you know. And thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. Because I did have, um, I've had people saying, I don't like to pray loud. It's fine. It's fine. It's, just pray, you know, because your prayer is just as effective. If not, more so. I pray aloud. Um, not to be heard. I always have a sincere point. But I pray loud and others do to encourage. It helps us to encourage. But those who pray in secret also, do not worry. They, they are, they're heard. Your, your prayers are answered. When thou prayest, enter into thy closet. So that says it all. Excuse my dogs. That's what the panting's been. They've just been for a walk. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. When thou fastest, anoint thine head and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men that fast you know when you fast don't make a big deal of it you're not fasting for a public show 
You're not giving money for a public show and you're not praying for a public show. You're praying sincerely. And that's and that's where it's coming from, you know. When, you, when you're fasting, just look normal. Do it and God will reward you. There's so much going on in the, in the background, isn't it, with our Father, that we don't have to worry. We don't have to make a prayer. And then it will humble us because we know that we, we don't put ourselves up a table. We don't come onto the scene. When I was a young man, I thought I knew it all. And now I realise I knew absolutely nothing. <laughs> I was dealing with scholars who'd spent all their life uh, learning these things and, and living in the Lord. So it's, it's, it's humility. Which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Matthew 6, 1 to 18. You know, it's not a show for ourselves. Everything we must do, we must empty ourselves out. Is that not right? So that the Holy Spirit can fill us completely. And it's a journey. It's a complete journey. Um, it's taken me many, many years. It's taken me near 50 years since I was born again. And it's taken me a long time and I'll never know it all. Just when you think you know it all, you know you know nothing. You know, <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> lay up your treasures, lay up treasures, you know. Um, lay not up yourselves treasures upon earth where the moth and the rust can corrupt and the thieves break through and steal but lap up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither the moth nor the rust corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal for where your treasures is there your heart will be also when we're working for the kingdom which that's what we should be doing okay this is what i've had a change of direction i've got to find out what god wants me to do and and what 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 you what God wants you to do. And that was a chore to change around and completely um, do without something that I like doing. Um, but we're emptying out, it comes to the first, we're emptying out, but is our treasure really in heaven? Have we really got it? Or we're still keyboard warriors wanting our pride? Well, we just empty out. I'm not, I'm not pointing a finger at anyone because there's unsubscribe buttons there. Just unsubscribe, don't bother. Don't bother sending me a stupid um prideful um comment you know just unsubscribe if you don't like what i'm saying just unsubscribe it's not a problem we're not building a big channel here we're just simply trying to do humbly as best i can on screen what the father instructs me to do and i'm hoping we're getting across but we're seeking the kingdom of god people have said to me you're too heavenly minded to be any earthly use i will remain heavenly minded but i will still apply myself to the to the commands of Jesus as best I can. I'm never going to complete them. And in that is what I'm trying to get across, to rip yourself apart sincerely, because God will reward that in your secret place. Examine your mind, examine your heart, examine what you're doing it for. Many things in life I've done for me, and I've called them for God, but many things I've done in life were for me to put myself up. I, I And I confess openly about that, and I apologise. <clears throat> I don't think I've offended anybody, but I, I do apologise openly to the Father. And I want to finish on a prayer. Father, I pray that you'll let this word go out. Let these people who watch this video go out and receive from you, mighty God, the kingdom in quietness and in peace and in joy. I thank you, my Father God, for helping me out with Discord. And, and turn it around to what you wanted it to be, a place to bring in people and disciple people, to heal people, to set them free. I thank you for the warriors that are there now, working with us, completely working with us, and I thank you for bringing these people in. It is absolute joy, Lord, to seek you and the kingdom of God, and to be seen, to be doing the work, and to be doing the work that you have given us to do. I pray that you'll just reach out to us and put us where we need to be, Lord. Tell us, each one, what you would have us do, Lord, in humility, in Jesus. Amen. But brothers and sisters, I'm going to leave you at that one. I will be doing some more, but bear in mind, I'm not doing these to have a go. These are the commands that Jesus left us, <laughs> along with the parables, There's a lot, and some are parables in many sense. Um and we're just, I'm just refining and going back. I did hear, I'll not mention, one YouTuber a long time ago has based his whole, mini, whole ministry on the fact that we've got to keep these commands. 
you know, they will not enter the kingdom of God unless we love him. And it's, it's all scripture. But that, I know I couldn't do this. I would fail. I would fail. If not on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, even on an hourly basis. I'm too earthly. And until we're ready to go, I will remain earthly. But going is soon. So if you're new here, please, if you don't know the Lord, please get to know him. Please send us a link on here. I want to know Jesus. Please, can you help me? If you if you aren't on Discord, go to Discord. There is warriors there now. Sound in mind and sound in the gospel. It will help you and love you. It's not a religion. It's a love. It's a passion. Discord link in the description. And all I can leave you with is, brothers and sisters, may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day and always. God bless.